Okay, so good morning, students. So we continue our uh, diffraction topic. So today we will discuss plane transmission grating. So plane transmission grating. transmission grating so basically it's nothing but it's a one glass slab for example I have a glass slab and if I made a number of lines on a glass plate narrow lines number of lines narrow lines I made the number of lines on a glass plate then this device is known as the plane transmission grating. By its grating, suppose I have a one centimeter cube, one centimeter length of this glass plate, and I made roughly around ten thousand to fifteen thousand lines on this glass plate. We made ten thousand to the fifteen thousand lines on a glass plates. So these are very narrow lines. So suppose this is one line, this is the second line. So in between of these two conjugate lines, this portion is opaque, opaque. Again this portion will be the opaque. So we have the number of uh, lines and due to these lines we have a region where the light can be transmitted easily. So, if we have the 10,000 to the 15,000 line, we can say there are 10,000 to the 15,000 of source which produce the secondary lights. The light which is incident fall on this glass plate can be easily transmitted from these portions, these portions, and this portion, and so on. And ultimately, the secondary waves will be superimposed and produce interference pattern will produce interference or diffraction pattern right so basically this device is known as plane transmission grating so we have some properties of this plane transmission grating so we can write secondary waves from the portions secondary waves from the portion of portion of the slit slit interfere interfere with one another one another similar to similar similar to the interference interference of wave in young young experiment right so basically it's produced an interference pattern just similar to the Young's double slit interference pattern. We know in Young double slit interference pattern we have two coherent sources S1 and S2 and due to these two coherent sources the two waves are superimposed and produce the interference pattern. Now in this case we have number of sources so the secondary wave which is come out from this number of sources will superimpose and produce the interference pattern just similar to the Young's double slit experiment. Number first point. Second point. Second point. Gratings are how we can make the gratings? Gratings. Gratings are prepared prepared by prepared by ruling ruling 
इक्विडिस्टेंस इक्विडिस्टेंस पैरल लाइन्स इक्विडिस्टेंस पैरल लाइन्स ऑल आर द इक्विडिस्टेंस पैरल लाइन्स इक्विडिस्टेंस पैरल लाइन्स लाइन ऑन ए ग्लास सरफेस ग्लास प्लेट और सरफेस सरफेस सो बेसिकली वी आर रूलिंग इक्विडिस्टेंस पैरल लाइन ऑन ए ग्लास सरफेस और ग्लास प्लेट्स विच एवरी लाइन हैज द सेम थिकनेस एवरी लाइन हैज द सेम थिकनेस नंबर थर्ड पॉइंट द स्पेसिंग बिटवीन स्पेसिंग between between the lines lines is of is of the order of order of the wavelength of light it's a very important word the spacing between the lines is of the order of the order of the wavelength wavelength of light right so the space between these two conjugate lines is in the order of a lights and the last the number of lights on this glass surface or a glass plate is roughly order of 10000 lines per centimeter length 10000 lines per centimeter so the number of lines are 10000 lines per centimeter centimeter of grating grating so these are the property of a plane transmission grating i summarize all these point basically it's based on the same principle which we follow in a young double slit experiment number first number second this plain transmission grating is made by ruling a equidistant parallel lines on a glass surface and the space between the lines is the order of the wavelength of the light this is an important point order of the wavelength of lights and there are roughly around 10000 to the 15000 lines in a per centimeter length of the grating so these are the property of a plane transmission grating so next we explain the theory of plane transmission grating theory of plane transmission grating so theory of i'm writing here theory of plane transmission grating theory of plane transmission grating now look at on the pictures where we see a spark of the light basically this spark is due to the superimposed of the different light from the different source and due to the mechanism of interference this spark is due to the interference of different lights right so the theory of plane transmission grating so when we have a plane transmission grating now i define the plane transmission grating by let's the grating is defined by x y this is the grating plane x y x and y now the light is fall on the grating this light is fall on the grating
and turn convex lens and finally it produce interference at a point p x y is the grating so in the grating we have two portion one is the transparent portion and another is uh, opaque portions so let's this is the point a this is the point b and this is the point c and so on so this light after passing through the grating will be fall on convex lens and ultimately it produce an interference pattern at a point b right okay so let's i define a b and c so x y is grating surface grating surface this is the grating surface x y and now we have 10000 to the 15000 equidistance lines on a grating surface so x y is grating surface m n this m n is screen m n is the screen where the interference will be dollar and it is a screen ab this point ab is the slit in which light can be transmitted ab is the slit and bc this bc is the opaque portion this bc is opaque portion opaque portion right so let's the width of ab is a that means the width of the slit is a and the width of the opaque portion is b so we define ab is equals to a a and bc is equals to b a is the width of slit b is the width of opaque portion so all the secondary waves all the secondary waves waves traveling traveling in the same direction same directions will come at point p they will be come at point p and produce the interference pattern at point p so this is the general descriptions of a plane transmission grating so light is fall on the grating x y after passing through this grating it will be produce the interference at a point p now what will be the interference pattern if we create a some angle in this plane transmission grating or i can say if we rotate the plane transmission grating where will be the position of this p so now i define the new uh, i draw the new diagram in which i will define the angle theta on which we rotate the plane transmission grating so i draw the new diagram so again x y is a grating surface slit ab then the opaque portion center line and mn is the screen 
M N is the strain. So now we rotate the grating with an angle of theta. So this line will be fall and meet at the point P prime. Initially our point was P, now the new point will be the P prime. Right. And so on. And this is the new angle. This is the angle theta. Theta. We rotate this plane transmission with the angle of theta. The width of this rail is A, the width of the opaque portion is the B. So, now, what will be the value of AC? AC means that it's a point A, it's point B, and this is the point C. So, what will be the value of AC? So, AC is nothing. But it is AC is what is the value of AC? AC is AB plus BC. AB plus BC means weight of the slit, weight of slit plus weight of the opaque portion, weight of opaque part. We know the width of the slit is A and the width of the opaque part is B then AC will be A plus B. Right? AC will be A plus B. So now what will be the part difference? Part difference So the part difference due to the this angle theta will be AC sin theta. AC sin theta. This is the part difference. So now substitute the value of AC. So the part difference will be A plus B sin theta. This is the part difference A plus B sin theta. The point part difference, the point P prime, point P prime will be the maximum, will be maximum intensity if the part difference is 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 equals to lambda. If it is equals to the wavelength of the light, then uh, at a point P, we observe the maximum intensity interference pattern. So, at the maximum interference conditions, maximum intensity will be maximum intensity CT A plus B sin theta A plus B sin theta and A equals to N lambda. This is the conditions for the maximum intensity where n is the integer number 1, 2, 3, 4, so and so on. So the maximum intensity condition is a plus b sin theta n is equals to n lambda where n is 1, 2, 3, 
4 and so on. So this is the condition of a maximum intensity. Now if, if this is the condition of the maximum intensity, what will be the conditions of intensity for the two conjugate interference pattern? So let's we have the two interference conditions. One is A plus B sin theta is equal to lambda when n is equal to 1 when n is equal to 1 and the second is A plus B sin theta plus d theta we just introduce a small angle d theta in the same expressions and due to this increment of this small angle d theta the change in the wavelength will be d lambda then the equations will be lambda plus d lambda so this is the two equations for the two nearby grading spectra now a plus b is a interesting part a plus b is known as the grating element. So, grating element will be sometimes it may be known as a grating constant. So, both are the same thing grating elements or the grating constant. So, the grating element a plus b will be equals to 2.54 upon 15,000 centimeter. Basically, it's nothing but a number of a line. It's represent a number of a line in a per inch. So, if we convert per inch into a centimeter, then the value of a plus will be given by this part. So in a 1 inch we have 2.54 cm and initially I say that the number of line in a per centimeter is uh, 10,000 to the 15,000. So now in that case the grating element or the grating constant will be 2. Point. If uh, the number of lines are 15,000, in that case the grating element will be 2.54 upon 15,000. If we have a 10,000 line then the grating element will be 2.54 divided by 10,000 centimeter. So this is the value of a grating element. Right. So if we draw the intensity distributions of this plain transmission grating, then the curve will be this one. So now I am drawing the intensity distribution curve of a plane transmission grating. So if I draw This is the intensity distribution of a plane transmission grating. So we have first secondary maxima, second secondary maxima, first secondary maxima, second secondary maxima. Now this is the principal maxima. This represents the principal maxima. Maxima. 
so this we put the intensity what is this? angle theta so this is the intensity distribution of a plane transmission grating so if we compare with a interference pattern by the Young's double slit experiment so where we do not observe this small peaks we just have the principal maxima after that the second uh, principal maxima then secondary uh, second principal maxima and so on why in this case we have some additional peaks here so this is the difference between the plane transmission grating and the simple interference pattern intensity distributions right so next we try to find out the missing order missing order in a diffraction grating so missing order in a diffraction grating so title is absent spectra spectra with a diffraction grating absent spectra with a diffraction grating so we have the two equations one is a plus b sin theta is equal to n lambda and another is a plus b sin theta plus d theta is equal to n lambda plus d lambda so the basis of this we derive the absent spectra with a diffraction grating so let's we start uh, with the grating equations we know this is a plus b sin theta a equals to n lambda if the value of this theta are such that if the value of this theta is such that now I am writing the conditions if the value value of a a and theta and this a and theta and are such that such that a sin theta is equals to lambda if we have the value in such a manner that this equation will be come in this manner a sin theta is equals to lambda so in that case we have one relation number one number second that is a plus b b sin theta n divided by a sin theta a equals to now this is equals to n lambda and this is simply equals to lambda so now we have the one relation a plus b sin theta divided by a sin theta is equals to n lambda upon lambda so if we solve it we have a relation a plus b theta n a plus b upon a is equals to n this is the relation a plus b divided by a is equals to n again n is digital numbers 1 2 3 4 and so on so now we put the different value of n and derive the relations between a and b so let's n is equals to 1 so let's n equals to 1 so let's n equals to 1 so if n equals to 1 in that case a plus b upon a is equals to 1 or we can say if a plus b by a equals to 1 in that case b will be 0 that is that is 
P is equals to zero. If B is equals to zero, that means what? B is equals to zero means opaque width of the opaque part is zero. Width of of opaque part is zero. That means whole glass plate is completely transparent. In that case. we can say this is the first order first order spectra will be absent will be absent in that case the first order spectra will be absent remember it if n is equal to 1 the first order spectra will be absent Second, if n is equal to 2, so if n is equal to 2, let's n is equal to 2, a plus b divided by a is equal to 2. So in that case, a is equal to b. Interesting, a is equal to b. That means the width of the slate is equal to the width of a open part width of the slate width of slate is equal to width of width of open part right so in this condition we can say second order will be Second order will be absent. Second order will be absent in when width of the slit is equal to the width of a open portion. The second order will be absent. So these are the some conditions or these are the some missing order terms in a diffraction gradient. So now we solve. Uh, a one numerical exercise based on this topic. So now I am writing uh, a numerical problem based on this one. So we will try to solve it. So question is number one. Calculate. Calculate, calculate the possible order, possible order, order of spectra, spectra with plane transmission grading having having 18,000 line lines per inch 18,000 line per inch when light of wave light of wavelength wavelength is 4500 angstrom so this is a one numerical problem we have to calculate the possible order of spectra with the plane transmission grating having 8000 lines per inch the number of lines in a per inch are 8000 when light wavelength order is 4500 angstrom so we know the formula which is d sin theta a equals to n lambda or 
a plus b sin theta is equal to n lambda. Grading equations a plus b sin theta is equal to n lambda. What is a plus b? a plus b is the grading element. Lambda is the light wavelength. And n is the order of spectra. So we have to calculate the order of spectra. Okay, so n is nothing but n is d upon lambda. This is the d upon lambda. Or we can write this is 1 upon n lambda. n is the number of lines in a per inch. So if I convert per inch into the centimeter, this n will be n is equal to 1 upon 7.09 into 10 to the power 5 line per meter multiply the lambda 45,000 ohm so now I convert this ohm into the meter so this is 4500 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter so if we calculate it the value will be the 3 n is equal to 3 so we can say the order of the spectrum is 3 so, in the same manner, we can solve the numerical problem. Sometimes the lambda is given, we have to calculate the value of A plus B. Sometimes the A plus B is given, we have to calculate the value of wavelength when the theta is given. So, for the different, different conditions, we apply the same equations and solve the numerical problems. So, today I explain the plane transmission grating how the spectra is observed, uh, interference pattern is observed in a plane transmission grating. We compare the intensity distribution pattern of the plane transmission grating with the interference in double slit interference pattern. We also calculate the missing order terms or the absent spectra in a plane transmission grating. We observe that when A is equal to B, that means the when width of this rate is equal to the width of an open portion in that case second order will be the missing part if b is equal to 0 means if open portion is 0 or the slate is completely transparent in that case the first order will be missing part okay so here i stop it thank you